The most powerful state we can be in as riders or athletes is what we call a flow state. Some people call it being in the zone. It's a highly focused state. When you're in the high pressure situations, like, yeah, before entering the ring at badminton, I go into this real bubble and zone. And it's, if you asked me, you know, what were you thinking or what was going through your head, it's impossible to tell you. It's kind of a complete flow state and it just happens. And I just, I just do. The original godfather of flow was, was a chap called Mahali Csikszentmihalyi, who spent his life dedicated to understanding and researching flow states. What's really interesting for flow states when it comes to riding is that they're intrinsically linked to what we call connection with the horse. If we can understand flow states and practice getting into them, we will automatically enhance the conditions in which we're more likely to connect with our horse. Flow states have been connected with really heightened focus and also a sense of timelessness. So time stands still. We suddenly don't become aware of uh, how much time we've got left to do something. The clock stands still. We are wholly present. But also in order to have flow, we have to be sufficiently challenged. We can't be doing something that's too easy because we need to optimize the amount of mental effort that our brain is applying towards what it is that we're trying to do. And therefore flow often comes when we're actually being challenged or when we've set ourselves clear challenges. Being focused, therefore, is an important element before we ever get in the saddle. How will we focus? What are we trying to do here? What's going to challenge me? Am I up for that challenge? Then being able to breathe, relax, and just lower our general state. The other important component of how we get into flow states, the ability to control our physiology and to fundamentally stay relaxed. As far as I know, any rider who comes out of a dressage test uh, have always said that relaxation was part of their ability to ride at their best. I've certainly never known a rider come out and say, that test was awful, I was really relaxed. It doesn't work like that. Uh, so, so relaxation is something we can all get better at and indeed it should be something that we practice on a daily basis. We might not feel that we need to, but we do need to practice it on a daily basis if we're going to get it right in competition.